if p is equal to 5i plus lambda j minus 3k and q is equal to i plus 3j minus 5k then find the value of lambda so that p plus q and p minus q are perpendicular vectors so given vectors p is equal to 5i plus lambda j minus 3k and q is equal to i plus 3j minus 5k let's let us find the sum p plus q is equal to 5 plus 1 that is 6 times i and here lambda plus 3 of j and here minus 3 minus 5 which comes minus 8 k so this is p plus q and p minus q we can write it's p is equal to 5i plus lambda j minus 3k and q is equal to i plus 3j minus 5k so that p minus q vector is equal to 5 minus 1 that is 4 times i plus lambda minus 3 of j and here it comes minus 3 plus 5 that is 5 minus 3 plus 2k and let us consider let vector c is equal to p plus q and d vector is equal to p minus q so that we need to find the value of lambda so that uh, p plus q and p minus q are perpendicular since vector c and vector d are perpendicular which implies that the dot product is zero so the dot product is c is nothing but p plus q that is 6i plus lambda plus 3 of j minus 8k dot product with d vector that is p minus q 4i plus lambda minus 3 of j plus 2k which is equal to 0 so on simplifying so dot product can be done with by take, taking scalars components respectively 6 into 4 plus lambda plus 3 into lambda minus 3 plus here minus 8 into plus 2 which is equal to 0 that is 24 plus lambda square minus 9 minus 16 is equal to 0 or we can write lambda square and here it is 16 minus minus 9 minus 16 is minus 25 and 24 minus 25 is minus 1 which is equal to 0 so lambda square is equal to or lambda plus 1 into lambda minus 1 is 0 you can write lambda plus 1 into lambda minus 1 equals to 0 so that we can say lambda plus 1 is equal to 0 or lambda minus 1 is equal to 0 that is the value of lambda can be taken plus or minus 1.